Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you're a Warzone player and you're facing issues with regards to high ping or the game's skill-based matchmaking is not exactly blessing you with the fairest of lobbies, you might wanna use a VPN to get rid of these issues and start enjoying the game. So in this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to both improve your ping and avoid skill-based matchmaking using a VPN. And so a little later on, I can give you my top VPN recommendations for gaming and go through what what they have to offer so that you can just pick the best one that suits your needs. But before we get into that, if at any point you just want to skip and check out any of these VPNs yourself, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews as well as a special discount in the description down below. Okay, the reason why you might be getting higher ping than usual in Warzone is most likely stemming from your ISP. Most ISPs, they monitor what users do online and they would throttle their connection to the ground if they detect any bandwidth heavy activities like gaming, torrenting, or streaming. By using a VPN, however, all your data will be encrypted once you connect to the VPN server. And then this way your ISP would have no idea what you're doing online and then they won't throttle your connection. Now, another reason why your ISP might be the reason why you're playing at such a high ping is that most of these ISPs try to cut costs by routing your internet traffic through the cheapest routes leading to your server. So these routes, they're usually longer and go through more nodes until they reach your gaming server, which just results in a much higher ping. So to solve this, you're gonna need to look up the Warzone servers list. Just find the closest gaming server to you and connect to the closest VPN server to the gaming server. So by doing this, you can sort of force your data to go in a beeline straight to the Warzone server instead of taking longer routes. And then this would help a lot in lowering your ping. Okay, so to show you how this works, I'm gonna be using ExpressVPN because it's super quick and easy to use. You can also go with NordVPN or Surfshark since all three of these, they work super well for gaming. Now, looking at the Warzone server map, it seems like the closest gaming server to me is the Paris server. So I'm gonna boot up ExpressVPN, click on the three dashes on the top left, click on all locations and then just type Paris in the search bar. This gives a drop down list of all the Paris VPN servers. So just choose one and then click the on button to connect to the server. I'm sure you've noticed here Express, it takes like a second to connect to the server. Unlike most other VPNs that take about 10, 15 seconds to establish a connection. This snappiness is actually one of the reasons why I prefer to use this VPN in my day-to-day -day activities. Now that you're connected to the VPN server, you're gonna have to go back to Steam, go to the download settings and change your download region to match the country of your VPN server. So Steam will ask you to restart. Go ahead and do that. And now you can play Warzone with much better ping. Now, in case you're not experiencing any ping issues, but keep getting placed in unfair lobbies, you can use a VPN here to connect to a server in a country with a much smaller user base. So this will fill your lobbies with bots, making your matches much easier. So to do this, try to find a country where the current time is either really early in the morning or super late at night, as there won't be a lot of active players to fill an entire lobby. So then you can boot up your VPN, connect to the closest VPN server to that country, preferably within the same country to get the best connection possible. So once you're connected, go back to Steam, change the download region to match your VPN server and give Steam a quick refresh before you boot up Call of Duty. Now, when you start the game, there won't be a lot of active players to form a lobby and the game would have to fill your lobby with bots so that you can actually start a match. So this actually makes climbing a ranked ladder much easier since skill-based matchmaking won't be an issue anymore. Now you can just start enjoying your Warzone games. Now, whether you're using a VPN to improve your ping or to avoid skill-based matchmaking, you want to be sure that you're using the fastest performing protocol on your VPN just to guarantee the best speed possible. And that's going to be Lightweight UDP for ExpressVPN, NordLynx for NordVPN, and WireGuard for Surfshark. So go ahead, set these in the protocol section before you actually connect to the VPN server. And now that you know how to improve your ping and get easier lobbies, I guess the question is which VPN should you use for Warzone? Well, like I said earlier, all three of these VPNs, they work remarkably for gaming because they have like great speeds to make sure you're always playing on low ping. Not only that, but all three of them will help you access most streaming libraries because they allow you to torrent with no bandwidth limitations. And they also have a strong privacy policy paired with all the essential security features that would help you protect your data and keep your identity anonymous. With that being said, they still vary in terms of budget and features. So let me just give you a brief overview of each to help you make a more informed decision. 
Again, if you want to know more about these VPNs with regards to speed and streaming and torrenting capabilities and security features, I'll just leave in-depth reviews on each one of them in the description down below. So starting with Express, this is going to be the quickest, easiest to use and most secure VPN of the three. It has the most verified no logs policy due to an incident back in 2017 where the Turkish government seized one of their servers like as part of an investigation and then they found nothing on the server. And as I mentioned earlier, Express is also the fastest when it comes to connecting and disconnecting from servers as you saw. Other VPNs take a few more seconds and Express does it in less than a second. By the way, speaking of servers, Express has over 3000 servers in 105 countries. So this is a huge amount of locations that'll allow you to access more content globally. Besides that, I would say Express is the best overall choice if you're looking for like an easy to use plug and play VPN because it doesn't have a lot of settings or options to tinker with. Like you just open the app, connect to a server and that's about it. Now, this does mean that it doesn't have a lot of bonus features, but it does have all the essentials like a kill switch. They've got plenty of servers, split tunneling, top of the line protocols you name it. So next up, we have NordVPN, which is going to be the most well-rounded option that offers a lot of value for a very affordable price. So when it comes to speed, Nord is technically the fastest out of the three VPNs thanks to its Nordlinks protocol, and it makes it a super good option for gaming. They also have the largest list of countries out of all the three VPNs because it has over 6,300 servers in 111 different countries, which again, that gives you a lot of access to a lot of content. Besides that, you also get a lot of bonus features like an app kill switch, threat protection that blocks ads and malware, a bunch of specialty servers like Onion over VPN, double VPN, peer-to-peer -peer servers, etc. And of course, lastly, we have Surfshark, which is going to be the best budget option out of the three. So the thing is, despite being so affordable, Surfshark doesn't sacrifice security or performance to cut costs. And it also offers a bunch of bonus features. Now, it might not be as fast as Norton Express, but it's still really fast and outperforms most VPNs on the market. And besides that, Surfshark will allow you to secure an unlimited number of devices with just one subscription, as opposed to Nord's 10 device limit and Express's eight device limit. So basically the best option if you're looking for a fast, affordable VPN to share with your friends and family. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out those links in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible. And of course, if you wanna know more about these VPNs with regards to privacy policy, streaming, torrenting, security, you'll also find some in-depth reviews there as well. Feel free to like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.